Hello and welcome to another episode of Spurverts. This is part one and obviously today we are talking about the Man City result. Oh, yeah. What a game, what a result. Did you feel nervous? I felt nervous. No. No? No. Not even when the game was going on, you didn't feel nervous? Uh, not when the game was going on. Actually, I know you didn't because I've seen you in a dressing gown, mate, and you were Chilling. hanging out in some bachelor hotel. I was in the Sanderson. Um, no, I was streaming the game on my phone, yeah. Sky Sports app, I love technology. <laughs> and um, no, it was good. It was, it was the game. OK, do you know what? Before the game, I was a bit nervy because of the result, the Leicester and Arsenal results. I thought there yeah. was pressure yeah. now to actually win the game. But then when the game started, we the first half, we was in control. We was we was kind of bossing the first half. It was the second half that got a bit nervy yeah. once we'd scored. Yeah, because first off, it was like 70 percent possession. Yeah. Even though there weren't any real clear cut chances for either side, it was sort of like we're all we, we're really yeah. bossing. And I thought I did really think it's a new era. 73 percent possession or whatever it was at, at, the, Etihad at the Etihad is mad. Incredible. Very. Then the second half, they did come out, you know, with intent. But it wasn't really that, the second half, penalty. it was more when we scored. Yeah, once we got that, once we'd scored. Yeah. What did you think? What did you make of the penalty decision? Uh, wasn't a penalty for me. Mm. A lot of you may not, you know, agree with me, but I don't think it was a penalty. I think, I, I think it was very harsh. He kind of jumped that was outside. Of, he jumped from outside of the box, kind of across the corner of the edge of the box, and it kind of struck him here. Maybe a bit here, but uh, for me, you've got to be, you know, it's got to be definite. Some people it. have said, well, he did lift his arm up. I think he was lifting his arm up to get it out of the way because it hit him there first. I think he was lifting his arm up to go. Up. I just think if you're jumping that high, it's so unnatural for you to be like this, that yeah, high. Yeah. You jumped very high. You're not going to have your arms glued to your side. It, for me, it's just, it was. I didn't care. I was happy. Said, I was happy. Take we got your luck. We've had enough of those decisions, go, decisions go against us. So yeah, yeah. I'm happy to take one. Going not forward really this season. Time. This season we've had the rubber. No, we have had quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, we were offside for two goals against City yeah. in the first game. So. We're turning into WH Smith. Just pens everywhere, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, but um, yeah, no. I'll take it. I'll take it though because uh, Balotelli a couple of years ago yeah. stopping on Scott Parker. Oh and yeah. That goal. And then Lely King last minute. Where I sit. Yeah. Brought him down and he started putting it away. Absolute disaster. Heartbreak. Defoe missed the chance. That's double revenge. But, but um, I need to say though, when we scored that, I felt like we was going to push on, but instead the injustice of the penalty to the, to the home fans kind of got them off of their seats and they were time. really making an atmosphere. And I started to worry a bit. I was like, there's intent now. The Man City players felt hard done by it. The fans felt it and it kind of all ca combined into this press to get a goal. They started popping, they started going everywhere. And I was saying from that moment, from about five minutes after that, I was saying, look, swap Son for Lamella. We want Lamella. Lamella's perfect for that, that energy. moment. We got that energy is going to be in everyone's face all the time. He's yeah. going to run and yeah. run. And I don't mind if he gets a yellow card because he's just going to be there. He's going to be break stopping up, break things up. going yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. They brought on Tom Carroll instead. Um, <laughs> He did all right, though. He, he did, did all right. right. He, he, was, did, he was kind of making some cute right. passes. Yeah, it's just uh, Son had been great and he'd done his job, but it was yeah. time. For, it was like the game was no longer for him. Yeah. And then when Lamella did come on, obviously, and I've got to do this on behalf of Emma. She's been begging us to praise Lamella, hasn't she? Well done, Lamella. Fantastic. Okay. Well done, mate. You were great. Before, we, before we get to the Lamella goal, though, can we just talk about their goal quickly? I mean, the way it happened, yeah. it came out of nothing, really. I think Carl Walker tried to recover. First the ball was put for his leg. Been, first time we were open, really, in defence. Yeah, and then Iniacho stuck it great away finish. kind of great emphatically. Finish. He's a good player, that guy. He's, he's good, he's good. But, yeah, Lamella just came up with the goods. Lamella, yeah. When nice little through. darting run from the midfield. Ericsson did superb to kind of not find himself offside. Amazing touch. Amazing, Amazing touch. touch. And then instead of taking it, because a lot of players would have took that touch and then maybe just guided it with their left, but he knows he's stronger in his right, so he kind of sorted at his feet very yeah. quickly and then slotted it to the, to the right of the And i got to say, when that happened to me, so I was watching it on a stream, which may or may not have been legal. Yeah. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a badass guy, is what can I say? Um, Rebel. <laughs> I was watching it on a stream, right? So I was a little bit behind. I was like probably like a minute behind. So when they equalised, my phone went mad and I knew in advance that they'd equalised. And then when we scored, I wasn't there yet on my stream, but my phone was going nuts. And because of the run of play, I was thinking, oh, City have scored. This is a nightmare. And then I watched it and I was like, oh my God, Lamella's through. Oh my God, pass it. And then I and was then, like, yes, this is it. And I went, oh, I went mad. And it's weird because in previous seasons, it so would have been the opposite. That oh, notification yeah, yeah, yeah. would have been yeah. them scoring. Yeah, and and you, could have just, you could just see it, basically. Yeah. But Turn your notifications off, that's a lesson. I know, that's all. I was in the Sanderson yeah. Valentine's Day with my girlfriend being angry oh, at me. Oh, did she enjoy the game? Yeah, so um, yeah, I enjoyed the game, <laughs> just chilling there in my robe. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a decent little Valentine's Day. And what about, so we were talking about how the, they got fired up by the injustice. Yeah. Just as it, that, that fire was starting to die down, Danny Rose 
just reignited it, didn't he? He by did. Doing that little he did. Harry Kane little, went he down. Beat his man. Yeah, Harry Kane took a knock, and uh, they thought we was going to kick it out of play because they held on to position for a while. We finally got the ball back while Harry Kane was down, and then the the common sense would say, just knock it out. Knock He's it down. Out. We don't knock know what's going out, on. Like... But Danny Rose threw that book out the window. Decided to kind of bomb down the left to find someone, but. Harry, but his outlet, Harry Kane, was There's lying on the floor. Yeah, yeah. So then he decided go. to kick it oh, out. Oh, now I'll kick it out. And, and then they, they kind of, mad. Yeah, kind they of squared up him. Yeah. They kind of went a bit nuts. And then, then but they, I love that about Danny Rose, though. I love that. It takes me back to Stoke a couple of seasons ago. I believe it was Stoke when the whole crowd got on his, got back, his back and he had to get substituted well, because is, it was hostile. I love it. That's, didn't, uh, it's interesting that didn't come up as much in our debate about the fullbacks. Is that Danny Rose does have that about him. You don't get that with Ben Davies. He's from the mean streets of Leeds, mate. With Ben Davies. Is he? And I don't want to quote this guy on this channel, but Tim Sherwood did say about Deli Ali on Match of the Day a few yeah. weeks ago. They said, has he got a bit too like a bit too much aggression, a bit too much fire in him? And Tim Sherwood said, we encourage that. There's of enough, course. enough players without any fire in them. Let's get listen, listen. with it. And Danny Rose is one of them. We don't like violence, but football is so pally pally. Do you know what? Before they teed off for half time, teed off, teed off, kicked off, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Deli Ali and Raheem Sterling were having a nice little conversation. Yeah. They were just chilling like, oh yeah, smiling. Come on, this is one of the hugest games of the season. So what do you want them to do? Just be focused. Don't talk. Talk after the game. You're, right. the, you're about to kick off for half time or tee off, as I said. And um, <laughs> they were just chatting. They were just smiling like, like, what happened to Roy Keane versus Vieira? What happened to just being locked in battle? Yeah. Well, where has that gone in football? It's literally gone out the window. They yeah, earn too much money and they're all friends. At the same time, mate, what happened to football shirts? Now everyone's wearing robes when they're watching matches. Yeah, so, true. I mean, yeah, picky true. battles. Yeah, yeah, you screaming away in the Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs> you go, stop talking to him. Stop chatting. Well, your girlfriend's there going, mate, the it's Valentine's Day. Finest, What's going on? the finest. <laughs> Arabic cotton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Well, this has been Spurbooks Part 1. We're excited about all sorts of things like cotton. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Part 2. We'll be talking about the Fiorentina game, the Palace game, and something Jamie Redknapp said. Not sure about it. See you there. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts Part 2, the show where we talk about everything that's got us absolutely excited to be Spurs fans. I'm still with Reese. Reese, Fiorentina game. It yeah. is coming up. Europa yeah. League. 